Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mario Vegas and you are watching Tank Zone. And today we will continue the topic about uh, Armored Warfare Commander skills. And this time the commander for the day is John Carlos Mia Mon. Uh, he can uh, be unlocked uh, via T uh, 72A uh, Tier 5 Soviet uh, main battle tank. He's a great commander for fast and agile light tanks uh, that rely on flanking as a their main tactic. Yuan's skills have three main areas of uh, expertise, uh, which are agility, good spotting and high speed combat. Um, and therefore he is very suitable a commander for a fast and agile light tanks uh, that rely on uh, fast flanking and improved uh, scouting capabilities as their main tactic. A uh, good example of such tanks are both Stingrays, uh, both uh, uh, M8 variants, uh, uh, Buffered and uh, Thunderbolt, uh, or uh, the K21 light tank. And Juan Carlos uh, has skills uh, that help improve oral accuracy while moving. Uh, his other skills range from uh, crew stats improvement uh, with the uh, use of consumables, uh, turret and halter vest speed increase, and uh, spotting range camo factor and reload bonuses. Well, quite versatile guy. Uh, therefore, uh, we will take a look uh, at a couple of uh, possible ways uh, to arrange those skills and get most of them depending on your gameplay style. So, let's start. And let's start with Carlos' basic skill, uh, which is a vision range increased by 20.8 to 32 meters, uh, depending on rank, uh, if no friendly vehicles are within 25 meters. It is a very useful skill for light tank uh, operators. Uh, if you combine that with other skills such uh, as overall accuracy, maximum speed improvement, or additional spotting range improvement skills and uh, play as an active uh, uh, fighting uh, scout or flanker or both at the same time, uh, this skill uh, is very, very useful. Well, it all depends on your uh, chosen uh, gameplay style, right? So, uh, let's start with the first setup, which is uh, intended uh, to boost uh, your vehicle's maximum speed and accuracy while movement. I would call it fast flanker setup. So, shall we start? Uh, first, uh, uh, six skills I should suggest to develop are uh, three oral accuracy uh, when moving and firing is improved by 1.77%, uh, a vehicle maximum speed increased by 2.2%, uh, module damage improved by 10.9%, and vehicle maximum speed increased um, uh, by 3.8%. Uh, then turn right and develop another four skills. Two overall accuracy uh, when moving and firing is improved by 3.01%, plus another additional overall accuracy when moving and firing is improved by 1.77%, and vehicles maximum speed increased by 1.3%. As a last uh, of four skills, I suggest to develop uh, two crew uh, resilience improved by 10.9%, uh, reload speed increased by 2.66%, if an enemy uh, vehicle is uh, present within 50 meters, and spotting range increased by 5 meters. So, before we jump to another alternative setup, uh, let's summarize what we got here, right? As uh, at this point, uh, our Juan Carlos uh, has the uh, highest rank possible, uh, then uh, uh, our vision range is increased by 32 uh, meters if no friendly vehicles are within 25 meters plus additionally by 5 meters. So in total uh, by 38 meters, uh, which is absolutely stunning because it is um, uh, by 3 meters more than uh, that uh, you would uh, get if you would uh, install second generation augmented optics, right? 
and uh, if you have optics already on your beast then in total it will give you 73 meters boost how cool is that okay uh, uh what else we got uh, overall accuracy when moving and firing in total is improved by 13.1 percent which again is equivalent to additional smooth ride crew skill right and finally you increased vehicles maximum speed by 7.3 percent which uh, may not look much but uh, if you, your light tank uh, stock uh, max speed is say um, uh, average 70 kilometers per hour and you get say additional 5 kilometers per hour on top of that uh, you may be surprised how much faster your vehicle feels and performs okay uh, on top of that uh, we got uh, useful uh, module damage improved by 10.9 percent crew resilience improved by 21.8 percent in total and small reload speed increase by uh, 2.6 percent if uh, an enemy vehicle is present within 50 meters well uh, now let's take a look at uh, another alternative configuration as a first alternative to Juan Carlos setup, uh, I would like to suggest a setup which would be most suitable for players who prefer to do active scouting as a main tactic during the game rather than flanking. Uh, not a very typical approach, uh, um, not my preferred one as well, but nevertheless I've done a lot of uh, uh, active and passive scouting with uh, my Stingrays. Uh, they are very much capable to do that, uh, so I think uh, some of you may be interested in this setup. Before we shoot, we uh, should aim at the target, right? So, with this setup, I am aiming uh, to increase spotting range, ability to spot through the foliage, and camo factor. So, now we have a target and let's go. Uh, so, as a first uh, two skills, I suggest to develop um, uh, two oral accuracy when moving and firing is improved by 1.77% then turn right and develop uh, damage caused by ramming reduced by 12.28% uh, and hull traverse speed increased by 4.9% uh, if uh, enemy is uh, within 50 meters. Uh, then go down and develop turret uh, traverse speed increased by 2% and turret traverse speed increased by uh, 3.5%. Then again right and develop another turret uh, traverse speed increased by 2% and two smoke screen reload speed increased by 3.8%. Uh, As the last five and the most important skills uh, for this setup I suggest to develop. Three spotting range increased by five meters abilities to spot targets behind uh, foliage improved by 6.6% uh, and camo factor increased by 5% if not friendly vehicles are within 25 meters. And let's uh, take a look at what we got in total and how these skills uh, may help while you are on a scouting duty. Uh, if you combine Carlos' basic skill, uh, vision range increased by uh, 32 meters, uh, if no friendly vehicles are within 25 meters, uh, with just uh, uh, gained um, spotting range increased by 15 meters, then in total uh, you get uh, 47 meters spotting range increasement. Plus, additionally, your ability to spot targets behind foliage increased uh, by 6.6% and camo factor increased by 5% if no friendly vehicles are within 25 meters. So a very useful skill package for scouts. Uh, let's take a look uh, at other just gained skills and how they can be useful for scouts. A smoke screen reload speed increased by 7.6%. Great improvement if you get in a troubled situation, either have been cut off your allies or must run and cover your retreat. 
if it works uh, for a thin cans, uh, it will work uh, for your light tank as well. Uh, third traverse speed increased by 7.5%. Uh, Great stuff. Um, it will increase your ability to swing uh, your firing sector faster. So uh, if uh, game progresses in the way that uh, your observation uh, position gradually turns in a good firing position, you can uh, hunt for targets better. Throwing your aiming reticle from side to side and fire at will. Uh, so this would be um, the main uh, benefits uh, for a, a light tank commanded by uh, Juan Carlos on a scouting mission. And finally, I would like to suggest a third and fourth setup for those of you uh, who are using consumables to boost crew stats. One for fast flanking and agile combat and another again for scouting. So, if you are intended to, to use consumables uh, to boost crew stats, want to boost uh, those stats uh, even more and uh, want to use Juan Carlos uh, for fast flanking and uh, agile combat, then I suggest to develop following skills. Three crew stats improved by 5% with uh, use of consumables. Uh, duration uh, 10 seconds uh, can be activated once every 30 seconds and two crew and mechanized infantry stats improved by 0.9%. Uh, uh, then three overall accuracy when moving and firing is improved by 1.77%. Uh, Vehicles maximum speed increased by 2.2%. Uh, module damage improved by 10.9%. Percent and vehicles maximum speed increased by 3.8%. And then uh, go right and develop two overall accuracy when moving and firing uh, is improved by 3.01%. Uh, uh, and uh, overall accuracy uh, when moving and firing is improved by 1.77%. Uh, in my opinion, uh, this is a uh, uh, and even a more effective setup for fast flanker than uh, uh, the first one. But be careful and use it only if you intend to use it in combination with consumables. If not, then go for fast setup instead. And as a fourth setup, I suggest one again for those of you uh, who are intended to use consumables and use uh, Carlos as your scouting commander for light tanks. Uh, setup is simple and uh, again it gives a greater effect than the previous uh, scouting setup. And to get it um, done I suggest to develop uh, three crew stats uh, improved by uh, 5% with the uh, use of consumables. Again, duration 10, 10 seconds uh, can be activated uh, once every 30 seconds and two crew and uh, mechanized infantry stats improved by 0.9%. Uh, 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 then camera factor increased by 5% if no friendly vehicles are within 25 meters. Three spotting range increased by five meters and uh, ability to spot uh, targets behind foliage improved by 6.6%. And finally, uh, two smoke screen uh, reload speed increased by 3.8%. Uh, uh, turret uh, traverse speed increased by 3.5%. Uh, Five percent and another turret uh, traverse speed increased by two percent. Uh, but again, use this setup strictly and only if you are intended to use consumables. Uh, in my opinion, uh, these two last setups are very, very effective if you are using consumables because uh, they uh, give you all command skills uh, what is necessary either for a uh, fast flanking or. Uh, for scouting uh, depending on uh, which tactic and setup you choose and at the same time boost your crew stats in total by 1.8% plus uh, by additional 15% on top of uh, 
5% energy drinks boost uh, um, if you use this consumable. Uh, I never use this consumable though, uh, so uh, correct me if I'm wrong and if it's only 15% increase. I'm not sure about that, but um, at least 15% increase you will get with this setup, uh, which is uh, impressive. Uh, but anyway, uh, the effect uh, uh, that this setup can uh, grant uh, to you is much higher than the first two setups. Uh, so um, all that is um, how I see Juan Carlos as a, a great uh, commander for uh, the light tanks. Uh, I would like to hear your opinion, suggestions and advice. Uh, share it with me and others in comments. Uh, that would be all for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, as always, smash the thumbs up button, hit the bell and subscribe. Uh, thank you for watching and following Tank Zone. Have a wonderful day and see you next time.